Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be in Borderlands 3 and showing you guys how you can easily farm a ton of Iridium. Now if you didn't know, Iridium is an in-game currency for Borderlands 3 that allows you to buy weapons and cosmetics to customize your character from Crazy Earl back on the Sanctuary 3. Alright, so for this Iridium farm, you're going to want to come to the Voracious Canopy. Now the Voracious Canopy is on Eden 6 and is the fourth location that you unlock on it just before Anbermire and after Jacob's estate. You can easily access Voracious Canopy once unlocked from Floodmore Basin. Now, once you get in, you'll be right here at the start, and the Iridium farm is really not far from here, and I'll show you exactly where it is. So just follow my lead, and we'll be there in no time. So you're just going to want to make it to the bottom of this hill and come right over to this waterfall here. And if you look on the map, it, there's a secret passageway that goes right through this waterfall. And you're going to just want to mantle up onto this, these rocks over here and you'll enter a secret cave with an Iridian writing on to the right side. Think I missed this class in school. But instead of stopping here, you're going to want to continue and keep mantling up on these rocks. Then take a left here, and there's a whole bunch of iridium that constantly spawns here. Now, in order to destroy these clusters of iridium, you have to make sure that you've killed the Rampager. He's a vault monster on Promethea. If you've already unlocked Voracious Canopy or the Planet Eden 6, then you've already killed him. So that'll give you the ability to smash these iridium clusters so you just want to go around grab all this iridium and make sure to come up here too because another two to three clusters can spawn up here and just like that already that's that's three that was three five clusters just from that run and if you guys didn't know there's also a dead clap trap right here so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm just going to open my menu and quit game and go right back to the main menu once you make it back to the main menu you're just going to want to go back to play continue game and head right back to the voracious canopy now that i've spawned back in I can easily just continue and go right back to that waterfall area and farm that iridium as many times as I want. So I'll just show you that that iridium respawns really quickly. So now that I'm back in the cave, like I said, you just continue through, you keep mantling up these rocks, and you come here, and look, wow, there's a lot more iridium here than there was last time. So the numbers differ from each run, and there can be a ton of clusters here. There's always going to be about five, I'd say. There we go, that was like 6 or something, that was really good. So I went from about like 300 iridium to like 344, I at least gained 30 iridium from 2 runs that took me like 3 minutes. So this is a really easy iridium farm and I'll be showing a lot of other different farms for money and iridium alike. Because there's a bunch of different farms that you can use to get a bunch of iridium and money. So I'll be showcasing a bunch of those on my channel, so if you want to stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe for more borderlands 3 content and tutorials and if you have any suggestions for what i should make a guide on next just feel free to hit me up in the comments and i'll make sure to read every single one of your suggestions anyways thanks for watching and i hope to see you all in the very next video